there's two questions I never let anyone go without answering. The first being, what do you think is the biggest waste of time either in the health or the fitness community? Okay, good question. Um, okay, so I was in a commercial gym not more than two days ago, and I was watching the, all the high school I mean, sorry, university kids in Canada are back in their hometowns now. So a group of university guys working out. And the biggest, most jack guy was there, and he was kind of like uh, somehow I randomly ended up talking to him. I think I spotted him or something. And he comes over with his iPhone, and he's like, yeah, dude, I'm not, um, I- I'm not the most technical guy. What's um, reverse standing reverse delt raise? And I'm like, oh, okay, there we go. The, the biggest guy here, right, <laughs> doesn't have a freaking PhD. He just lifts, right? And I think people get caught up in that is that generally, generally speaking, the time spent in front of your computer is not time that you're stimulating a muscle to grow, mm. right? So we spend a little too much time really getting down into the nitty-gritty stuff. We're, we're hobbyists in that sense, right? We like to learn about mTOR and how many amino acids are in insulin and all this kind of fun stuff. But in reality, you know, the, the, the biggest guys out there, they don't have advanced medical PhDs in muscle growth. You know, they're, they're not CIA operatives in the secret muscle growth building laboratory, right? They're just they're guys and girls who hit the gym hard and then recover. Right. And, uh, and I think we kind of forget about that. So I said the time lost is the searching for the magic bullet online instead of just getting stuff done.